Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface Marvel's Phase Ball of the MCU. Love to say that. It triggers people. Why would it trigger people? Because they know it's correct. They know exactly that's what Phase 4 was. Get rid of all the beloved heroes and replace them with vacuous, awful, disgusting, uh female well i say equivalents they, they're not even remotely close to an equivalent just female versions that lack any backstory lack any depth lack any character and more importantly lack any good storytelling and phase bore as it's now known mcu phase bore is exactly that it was terrible Cheap writers, cheap films, cheap shows. No one to invest with, no one to like. Shield media, running defense, but it doesn't stop the fact that it's garbage. And are we seeing some diminishing, with diminishing returns on Marvel product now? Of course we are, absolutely. Black Panther 2 didn't hit a billion. Thor didn't hit a billion. Doctor Strange, which went boosh out of the gates, hot off the heels of Sony Spider-Man, didn't hit a billion. TV shows, you've seen, if you look at Google Trends, the amount of interest in them. And then the drop. Ms. Marvel, stuff like that. Nobody cared. Nobody cared because the show is now a garbage it's they're all the same tripe they have the same feel the same look the same speak and the same speak originates from joss whedon we had the buffy speak so everyone tried to do the whedon speak and then of course whedon did the avengers and then suddenly you know put a few quips in and then suddenly people who weren't as talented as joss whedon because for for all that he is he is a great writer they all try to mimic the Marvel humor. And Marvel humor now just means cringe. Not funny. Nothing. And then that and then that develops into something like She-Hulk. Absolute bottom of the basement. Canine fecal matter. AKA dog shit. I think Loki is the only MCU show to date which has got renewed. One division didn't. Hawkeye hasn't. Get well soon, Jeremy Renner. Uh, what? I mean, they're all just mashing into one. Ms. Marvel hasn't. She Hulk hasn't. These are shows which haven't got renewed yet. <coughs> and there are others. My brain just wants to delete them. I just don't care. And then when Charlie Cox was announced for the MCU, having come off an incredible three-season run at Netflix, let's just say quite a few people, including myself, rather concerned. Rather concerned about what they would do with the character. You know, he, he made a cameo in the Spider-Man film from Sony. They gave him a comic line. But then he made a couple of appearances in She-Hulk and they pissed all over him. They put him in a dog shit costume for a start. And then they treat the character like a buffoon. Making him do the walk of shame because the alcoholic whore that She-Hulk smashed. Three dudes, four episodes. She-Hulk. That's like the comics. No. No. So, we heard from Charlie Cox after the She-Hulk debacle. The first couple of things he said, he seemed to be kind of like, I'd be a little bit nervous if I were you folks. <laughs> seemed to be sort of warning people and then suddenly... Tone changed and he became 
Defending the She-Hulk episodes. Defending the walk of shame. Defending the fact that he was made to look like a fucking idiot in her show. And also revealing that she might possibly turn up in his show and it's going to be lighter tone. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So let's just say there's more red flags than an airport in the fog right now. But we've just found out who the writers for the show are going to be. Holy it. You can scan through some, read their profile. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh-oh, hello. Jill Blankenship. Should be called Jill Total Shit. More like... Jill Blankenship is a veteran superhero writer and also a member of the Daredevil Born Again team. Okay, okay. So where have I seen this name before? Let's just jump to Wikipedia. She was the executive producer on Naomi. What's Naomi as? Some of you may cry well if you want to find out exactly what it is go to my video section and put in naomi and watch as jane theory and i review every episode which by the way was only 13 because the show got shit canned on half of the first season because guess what it was dog shit absolute complete and utter dog shit jane and i could not believe what we were watching and if you don't want to go back and watch them because you can't handle the cringe and you can't handle the, the terrible nature of the show just hang fire i'm gonna give you a little clip of naomi now to show you what you were missing with the show let's just go here this is how the show ended when she found out that her parents had actually killed her real life parents. Let's just have a look at this amazing 10 seconds. This is some of the greatest cinema you're ever going to watch in your life. gets me every time it gets me every time i'm like how the fuck does that make it to television and i know it's the cw but holy shit this is what we've been mocking with the mcu tv the fact that it's now turned into cw television and guess what they are hiring cw failed showrunners Let's just read a little bit more about this absolute beauty. She was the showrunner and co-creator for Naomi, a show shit-canned halfway through its first season. Just want to reiterate that. Which was about a teenage superhero fan who discovers she has powers herself, which just so happened to mimic some of the powers of the superhero that she liked, which was Superman. But holy shit, you have to watch that show to believe it. It's like dog shit satire. It's like you take somebody who's based and you said to them, quick, write a show as if you were a leftist. And they put all the tropes in and they put all the cringe in and everything. That was Naomi. Shit canned after half a season, first season. Didn't even get a full first season. Blankenshit also wrote for Arrow, which ended up becoming utter dog shit. Again, a show that had a really good first couple of seasons, but then they did the whole CW. Everyone's a team now, and everyone's got social justices, and we're hiring every gay actor that we can 
because you know who, who was running the show, he wants to get into their panty poos. Unbelievable. She's an alum of the WGA showrunner training program. She fucking failed it massively by the looks of it. Arrow fans might re This is... Look, she had a failed show with Naomi. And this is another claim to unfame. Arrow fans might recognize the name because she wrote along with Mark Guggenheim and Beth Schwartz and Oscar Balderrama. The episode of the show that was a backdoor, backdoor, all right, pilot for the spin-off Green Arrow and the Canaries, the show was, unfortunately, a, pandem a pandemic casualty. No, the show, unfortunately, was fucking shit. The pilot was shite. Are we going to invest in this? When the CW says no... Holy shit, it must be exceedingly bad. Exceedingly bad. And this was where Green Arrow, by the way, was Oliver Queen's daughter. And of course, the Canaries were the other women. So it's just a, another female woman show where everyone's amazing. You're better than me. Oh, I know I am, but it's just so hard. My biggest flaw is being so fucking amazing. Not a scrap of character amongst any of them. It would have taken place in Star City in 2040 and followed Mia Schnack. She doesn't have Os uh, Oliver Queen's surname. No, she's got Felicity Smoke's surname instead because, well, man, the daughter of Oliver Queen and Felicity, sh uh, she was fucking dog shit as well. Make Marvel male again. This is unfortunately what we've got. So this is one of the writers. A pilot failure. A showrunner failure. But somehow, as ever, when it comes to Marvel, when it comes to Hollywood, when it comes to TV, failing upwards. If you didn't think the show was going to be dog shit when before, it's definitely going to be dog shit now. Holy crap. Might as well just give up on it. D-O-A. R-I-P, Daredevil. See you in the next video. Bye for now.